Alright, so I just got a phone call from Pelican Parts that the new wheels for the 964 are in. So Victor and I are going to go head up to their warehouse and pick up the wheels. Pelican Parts. Pelican Parts, this is it. Alright, so we made it here to Pelican Parts headquarters up in LA. We fought some traffic to get here, but we're here, so let's go in and check it out. This is Dimitri from Pelican. What's going on guys? He arranged the wheels from Braid USA. So Braid is a big wheel manufacturer in Europe and they're very well known in the Porsche community. What a lot of people don't know is they make fully custom wheels and they built a fully custom set of wheels for the Porsche 964. Let's show you guys these wheels. Okay, so these wheels are a Braid Siri GT. They are 17 inch centers with a step lip up to 18. The centers are finished in anthracite and the barrels are polished. The rear is a negative 16 offset and the front is a plus 18. These guys can manufacture any spec that you're looking for, any offsets that you need, any bolt patterns that you need, and they have tons and tons of centers to choose from. The minute we pulled these things out of the boxes, I realized that the quality of these wheels is just absolutely incredible and totally stands up to the reputation that Braid has. Because these are fully custom three-piece wheels, the best way to order a set of these for yourself is to go to pelicanparts.com and hit up their support team because those guys will help you spec out the proper wheels for your build. This is insane. Like, yeah, some of these cars that we have in here, what, 962s over here? Jaeger 962 and uh, Victor 962. I've never seen one of those in person. Yeah. It's nuts. We got another one in the corner, a tribute to an RSR, that green beast over there. That's a 959? That's real, I take it. Yeah, that's, uh, I believe it's an oh, 87 wow. 959. Real deal. Then you got a cool little daily 72 RS style. You see somebody's working on this one. Aren't these things like a thousand horsepower or something? Yeah, I believe that these Lolas do come with a thousand horsepower engine, which is <laughs> That's insane. Nuts. This is a cool little uh, SL uh, touring car. It has a little custom windshield. The uh, founder of the company put together. And what is this? So this is actually a exact replica of Le Mans. It's a slot car track that the founder of the company That's recently so cool. acquired and he just thought that it would be kind of a, a cool addition to the overall yeah, vibe of the, the Pelican cool. garage. I love all these vintage cars on there too. I'm, yeah, I'm amazed at the, at the detail. And we didn't talk about the tank. It's a, I believe it's a 1958 British Scout. <laughs> That's actually street legal. We, uh, we actually took it to an El Poy Loco drive through and uh, got some, some really, really funny looks from the team members there. But yeah, I mean, like I said, street legal goes about 60, 65 miles an hour. If you guys have any questions about any of the cars that you've seen in this video, uh, definitely feel free to post a comment and we'll do our best to uh, give you the history and any extra information on those cars. This is uh, we stock on our website, we have probably about two and a half million parts. Yeah. So this is kind of like where all the magic happens per se, packing, shipping department, picking department. If you see a product and we have it in stock, it definitely goes through all our guys here. Yo, dude. What do you think? So sick. Wow, way bigger lips than I thought, too. I know. Damn. Ready to test fit them? Yeah. Ugh. They're hot boys. Look at these lips. Some good meat right there. Some good old Falcon tires. Woo, baby. Hell yeah. I'm so stoked to be able to remove these monster spacers from here.
right guys, so Mickey just called me out to the shop to take a look at the final product. And here it is. So we got the wheels on, we got the side striping on. Everything is tied together and I think this thing has turned out insane. The last thing to do here is to get some awesome cinematic shots and some good photos of it. So we have Kevin Tran coming down today and we're gonna go shoot this thing. carbon fiber this is pretty remarkable everything has been replaced with brand new componentry so beautiful fiber rear bumper straight out of mold exposed carbon fiber front fender clear coated so this one um, RJ was telling me these fenders if you ask for exposed carbon sometimes it takes them up to three tries to get the weave to turn out just perfect it is perfect There's so that it can, yeah so that it can be exposed and not uh, I see one little flaw right here Rick but it's the same place that when you do a wrap on a Porsche, you have problems oh, yeah, right here. Yeah, yeah. There's a tiny Barely. flaw, but I mean, if you're after this look, that's totally acceptable. I love the modern take on their uh, on their GT2 wing. Carbon fiber wing primered for paint. Rick and I decided we got hung up talking with people and we're here a little late, we're the stragglers, but there are some cars left. This parking lot was full of awesome cars that we didn't film earlier, but we wanted to show you guys this 1,000 horsepower GT2 uh, from our friends at Bowden Auto House in Orange County. This thing is badass. I'm not a fan of the color myself, but it is different and unique, which is really cool. Um, I'm a big fan of this right here. If I had a Porsche, this is what it would look like. Nice maybe even e maybe even gnarlier than this. I don't know, but this yeah, was really this cool. Started as a 964 C4, maybe. It's so cool. It's just over the top. All right, well that's a wrap, guys. Uh, Rick and I are gonna head back. What do we got? An hour and a half drive south, yeah. San Diego. But it was worth it. Definitely Gun worth it. Gunter works. You guys are doing it right. These cars are absolutely fantastic. They cost uh, an arm and leg and maybe your first child, but. <laughs> well worth it and uh, yeah thanks for the invite and uh, thanks to our friends at Meguiar's for uh, putting our names on the guest list that was pretty awesome of them otherwise sure. we wouldn't have got in so thank you to all we'll see you guys in the next one <laughs>